Okay, I'm loving this light right now. Um, I just have to make sure I stay looking here. I get that nice glow right here and then this nice shadow down here. So let's run it. Hello! Slu recently made an oil painting video about an exercise that's supposed to improve your painting, so I'm going to be attempting it here. You know, it's not necessarily a challenge, but I've set out some rules. First one is I'm only allowed to use the Zorn palette. Uh, ignore the other paint on my palette, that's for another video. Number two is Alaprima, so it has to be wet on wet, one session, no mediums, just using Gamsol. And three, I'm only allowed to look through the mirror, no pictures at all, no reference photos, no gritting, right? Uh, just straight up sketching with an oil brush. So I've actually done this exercise before when I was in school. I don't think I necessarily used the Zorn palette, but I remember my professor giving us each a, a mirror and asking us to draw ourselves from that. And I completely forgot that you can't do like the sightseeing technique where you sort of measure the end of the brush or like a ruler or some sort um, because you keep blocking your face. So this was a lot more difficult than I thought. Like Slu, you could see me sort of noodling around a lot, putting the wrong colors in, sort of mixing on the, the canvas, um, noodling around. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. When I think of noodling, I think of basically comparing this past mark that I made to what I'm seeing presently and trying to either fix it or, you know, compare it to another part, right? So if I didn't get my pupil right in one part, um, I'm able to compare what I just painted to, you know, shift it to the left a little bit or shift it to the right a little bit. And you can see me doing that a little bit, especially with the eyes and, and some of the original marks that I'm making. It's kind of funny looking back on this video because you could see my face on the right and I'm very much so trying not to move. I'm just moving my eyes. Um, and it's supposed to be a lot easier when you're just moving your eyes back and forth, but I felt too stiff in that. You could see me sort of move around and sort of stretch once in a while. I haven't used the Zorn palette in a long time. I think this is such a good exercise because the limitedness of it, you know, really helps you focus on the colors that you're seeing. Um, and it lets you, you know, be creative in that sense. Like I said before, I already have a bunch of colors on this palette for another project. And there's just so many colors to choose from. And it's very easy to just, you know, pick one out and mix it in. Uh, but with the Zorn, you're really sort of experimenting on the spot. You're sort of moving stuff around, trying to mix the right color, um, thinking about the type of light that's hitting you in the mirror at that present moment. So yeah, definitely a lot of noodling. But I'm very happy with how this came out. Uh, I haven't done a, an exercise like this in a, in a, in a while. Uh, I'm used to just gritting stuff. So painting from life was pretty fun and I think it was pretty successful. I think I achieved the likeness, you know, uh, through the glasses and the sizing proportions, but you know, there's always small things that you can't necessarily get right the first time. Uh, and this was only a, I think about a two and a half hour session, maybe two hour session. So of course it's, it'll never be perfect until you keep practicing, until I keep practicing and trying to get better. But this is definitely uh, something that I'll do in the future. I, I think it's so fun to pour out some paint, pick up a brush and, and just use a mirror to your advantage to have a live model. But yeah, thank you for clicking on this video, by the way, if you're a SLU fan and for sticking around. I've been a SLU fan since around 2020. Uh, I started watching his videos and I just fell in love with his style. Um, so he's always been one of the artists that I've looked up to. Shout out to Lou. If you don't know, he's moving into sort of the education side of art, uh, especially through his studio. Um, so I highly recommend you go check out his website if you haven't already and try and take a class if you're around the, the Brooklyn slash New York City area. I went a little over two or three months ago. I had such a great time drawing and meeting people there. And it's exercises like this that, you know, help us get better, help us observe life and, and really be able to emulate it with just oil paint. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you like these type of challenge sort of videos because I definitely had fun with this one and, and I would love to do it again. So 